Hi everybody, how's it going? It's Bubba Rob again. You know, I I, I want to say thank you for uh, everybody who's shown me support in the texts and uh, things like that. Today I'm going to talk about music and the blues and mindfulness, meditate, meditation, all in, all in kind of one big bundle. Uh, one thing I've done is I've learned a lesson this week. I better watch and be careful what jokes I crack on here because people hold you to your word. And I made a joke the other day about writing a song, <laughs> getting your ribeye rub on. <laughs> I haven't get reminded people are waiting for that. <laughs> oh, I'll actually do it, but uh, I didn't get it done yet. I could, I'd have to start laughing before I could start writing before I do that. <laughs> I might get some kind of uh, ribeye strike on YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, the reason uh, I started playing the guitar again and I love the blues and, you know, it takes me to a different place. It, it's really important for your mind to be given a rest from all the da daily stresses and things like that. And, you know, that really ties into doing the carnivore diet. Because, you know, the diet does work in the sense where, you know, you, it gives you, does give you a, a sense of mental clarity. I've experienced that. And, you know, it, it helps. But when I dig into the blues and music, where it becomes mindful and meditative, I go into a completely different place. My mind is lost, it's empty. I'm not thinking about anything. If I get into it to such a degree, my eyes roll to the back of my head, my eyes are shut. And I just listen to the backing track I've, I've, I've done on the ditto pedal, you know, and I just play. Sometimes I record it. That's why I started putting it out there before. Like I thought, well, if I just put it out there and share it with my friends, that might help somebody to pick up something to do something for themselves. You know, it's helped a lot with my PTSD and, and, and just mental health in general. Uh, I don't profess to be any good at it. I guess I'm better than some, worse than others. But whatever you're going to hear from me isn't rehearsed. It's not cut. It's not pasted. Not practicing all bloody day to compress the hell out of you guys to keep you listening. I would like you to keep listening because, you know, then, then the, you know, it builds up my time on the video. But, you know, I... I just want to be completely real. When, you know, when I was 18 years old, I was lucky enough to see Stevie Ray Vaughan. It was unbelievable. I was never the same after that. It was such an incredible feeling. It was just so amazing. When they were finished their set, you know, they were waiting for the encore and the lights went on. The whole audience was dead quiet they were just like jaws dropped it was that good the only other time i ever experienced that in a in a concert setting was taj mahal came here once same thing it was that good you know when when music affects people on that level really to the core of their soul it's really taking you to a better place so you know i i strongly encourage people when you're making a change in your life if you don't play an instrument try pick one up get some lessons take your mind off of what's going on doesn't have to be the guitar, it could be the drums. Piss your neighbors off, piano, keyboard, bass, violin, 
trumpet, saxophone, anything. Anything. Anything to take your mind to that special place. Right? The more you de-stress yourself and your nervous system, the more successful you're going to be on the carnivore diet. That is a guarantee. Because you got to put the work in on everything. It's just not learning the fancy uh, recipes or any of that stuff. It's about putting the work into you. You got it. You're going to get it. You're just going to put the work into you. You're going to put the work into the whole you to make the difference. Because you want that difference to last. Because you don't want to go back to the carb addiction. You don't want to be go back to having the health issues or, or whatever caused you to, to do this. You just don't. So anyways, I'm going to let you go and I'm going to cut and paste the, the video I did. And I was thinking, should I cut the end of it off or what? But, you know, it's about 15 minutes long. And I'm going to put the whole thing on there. And I suggest if you want you to start listening to it, just, just put your head back. Close your eyes. Go to that special place. If you don't like it, turn it off. It's okay. Won't hurt my feelings. I'm just trying to do my best. So I'd appreciate it if you hit the please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm getting pretty good at getting back to people. And I want you to all have a good day. And remember to be a stoic and just to be a good person. The quote, most important thing is just to be kind. Love you all. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.